vehicles moving on and off the aircraft and also palletized loads, which simulates the movement of obviously the vehicles and any potential aid that we'd be taking on a humanitarian op. The sort of things that we'll need to consider is whether or not the, air, the, the vehicle has been suitably prepared for air movement, and that includes ensuring there's a certain amount of fuel in it, not too much, it's been checked over by all of the movers, and it's been weighed appropriately to ensure that we place it in the appropriate location on that aircraft floor. One Air Mobility Wing, the RAF's main capability to move anything, anywhere in the world. As part of Exercise Swift Pirate, they're testing the squadron with a range of scenarios from loading a Land Rover on a C-17 to escorting personnel on an aircraft while the engines stay running. So it's really important that we conduct this training to ensure that we can run smoothly whilst we're under pressure. And that pressure can come from so many different angles. For example, if it's really hot where we're operating, we need to ensure that everybody knows what they're doing so we can smoothly do the job without any risk of heat exhaustion. And that can also translate to a hot environment. And when I say that, uh, what I mean is that there's a threat or a risk, an intelligence risk. And so we want to get in do our job and get out safely, protecting our equipment and our people as much as possible. While today they're just practicing, the squadron are well equipped to deploy humanitarian aid to countries in need. Most recently they sent vital supplies to India as the country fights against the new Covid variant. UK MAMS have been involved in a number of these type of operations recently. In 2019 we deployed in support of um, Mozambique following the cyclone there where we took some aid uh, and worked with the FCDO to get it there. We were also involved in the Caribbean following the hurricanes there in 2017 where we had a team that was permanently based down there to assist in moving loads, loads from the UK uh, in support of the aid relief effort down there. For this squadron, they're used to working in a range of conflict zones and with the help of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, they're equipped to help civilians caught in austere environments. As UK military, everybody is res responsible for recognising any human rights violations and reporting and responding accordingly. And some of the major themes are human trafficking, modern day slavery, conflict rel related sexual violence, um, and also the use of uh, children in, in, in warfare, in armed conflict. And so it's giving, giving everybody an understanding of, of what is going on, what could be going on, uh, both at UK and, uh, and abroad. The squadron will soon return to their home base at RAF Bryce Norton and will remain on high readiness, ready to respond at short notice. Percy Chambers, Forces News, RAF Wittering. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.